All right, yes, you're welcome back to the Balance Diet of Entertainment this morning. Now, if you check your go-go, you go see, say, we want, we don't want to make you deflate at all, at all, and that's not why we don't bring in this live um, guest appearance, and we don't make them possible, because we don't always get a particular person. Sometimes, they, they vary from department to department. Now, this one, now, the Office of the Public Defender, and for this particular edition, uh, we get the di director when it comes to human rights. And this director, her name, now Mrs. Abiola Osini. Um, welcome to the studio, ma. Good morning. Good, Good morning, morning ma'am. Welcome. Thank, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank um, you. Now, we'll not say this one when it comes to human rights. We'll not say some people get information on top of them. Some people not to get information on top of human rights. Um, give us a little brief on your office and the responsibility we want to get concerning Lagos State citizens and human rights. Good morning. My... Good morning. Office is the Directorate of Citizens' Rights. Basically, what we do is take care of the rights of the citizens, as it were. Okay. Rights of citizens, as it were, okay, ranging so from child neglect to child abuse to we do landlord tenant, we do family, we do domestic violence, everything. Everything we consign human rights yes. for citizens of Lagos yes. in particular. All right, so let's let's narrow it down. Let's take it down. down. Make we start with the minors who we get for inside our country because nowadays we they get a lot of stories, a lot of situations. We they read them for paper, we they read them for blogs, we read them for social media. We they even see video. All thanks to technology now, we evidence even on ground for people we won't feel deny them. Mm -hmm. uh, we they see say sometimes some neighbor will just hide for window, video the whole scenario they happen. Let's talk about the child rights for inside the Lagos State. How what is it all about? Um, the child's rights in Lagos covers quite a lot. The child has a right to life, the child has a right to education, the child has a right to health, shelter. <laughs> Love, everything you can, all wrapped up in one. Now, situations like, um, situations where would they hear of, say, na mama, that's when na mama we born picking. Because I know, say, a particular scenario be played out on top of social media and it went viral. Blogs be carry them. I see this small picking. And I see, say, na boy, I see, say, blood, they come off her head. And by the time I read the story, I realize, say, na own mama, no be step mama, na mama we born them. We actually do this kind of badness to him picking. Obviously, this is a violation of that child's rights. So tell us, because I know that the case eventually reached your office. Tell us how you take Takulam and waiting um, situations like that. What do human beings who are adults, what are they doing or what do they go through where they make them one beat picking to the point where they leave mark and the picking, they bleed? Like this particular one where they talk about uh, on Sunday, my yoga sent them to me, that's the permanent secretary, Lagos State Ministry of Justice. He sent them to me for my WhatsApp, say make a look into them. So I uh, see the address, can't go, like when something like that happens, the first thing is you get the police involved and then you get the welfare officer involved. So I moved and went straight to Isokoko police station because it happened in Agege. And from Isokoko, we went to the house at um, Modica Street, I think that's the name of it. And immediately we got there, and people saw a policeman with us. The first reaction was, what happened? So when we mentioned that we were looking for a child with them beat, that's the way I put it, uh, the child with them beat for this house, uh, the whole house came down. Everybody was out on the streets. That look, is this child? This is not the first time. This is not the second time. This is not the third time. Oh, now waiting people they tell you now. Yes. Uh -huh. Not the first time. Not the second time. One papa come out, old man say, the mama know they greet him again. Take off say in beats the in correct him saying beats the picking. So I'm like, okay, where's the house? So we walked into the house and the particular apartment, the one room thing, and. Of course, the child wasn't there. So I'm like, so where's this child? Said that he had gone out with the mother. OK, so the man in said he's the father. OK, so where's your son? Said that he went to, he went with the mother somewhere. So where's this? You don't even know. No, no, it was on a Sunday. OK, on the Sunday. So it couldn't have been school. So we got there. We waited maybe like another 10, 15 minutes. 
He said they'll be on their way. So I'm like, call the woman. Make sure no safe person they wait for him for house. So he called her and then she came. Immediately she walk her, she, she they approach the house. I go ask her, say, where the picking way in carry go? Say, no, that she has sent the baby home now. That the boy go don't come home. So I said, how old is this boy that you're saying he go don't come home? She said, he's 12. 12. Now 12 year old you beat like that. And she said, yes, that he provoke him. Say, what did he do? Anyway, first thing, where is this child? Go and get the child from me. She went all around. Uh, that he will soon come. I thought he was here. No, 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 not here. Go and get this child for me. So immediately she realized that it was serious business. She now told her husband that. Make him go look around the area. He go see the picking. Make him bring her. Wow. So I'm like, make him go look for him. He said, yes, now make him go look for him. That he, he don't send the picking home since. That she carry her daughter, go place her hair. That she don't tell the other one, making the come house. Okay. Where is this person? Immediately, the whole, um, all the neighbors came down and said, no. Now, look, don't worry. That, that's how she does. That you don't go hide the picking somewhere. So I said, okay. So I took the mother and told the police, let's go. I went into my car and we took the mother to the police station. So I was saying to the man, Go find this picking. If you don't bring the picking, come join us for police station. Your wife go there. So eventually, maybe about 7.30, we've been at the police station. We just sat there. Hmm. About 7.30, the man, and the man came in first and said, he doesn't know where the baby is. Or he doesn't know where the boy is. I'm like, you see, if you don't go and bring this boy, this is your last opportunity. If you don't go out, get this boy for us. Definitely, both of you are going to sleep in the cell. Be sure of that until you produce this child. So he now ran, came back maybe about another 30 minutes, about 8 o'clock, and he brought the boy. Okay, so Nadi Pekin with this, yes. So what did you do that your mother beat you? He doesn't know. He's always beating me like this. Okay. So the first thing was do statements. So they asked the girl, make him write statement. He writes your know, statement, makes if I write my own. So... What is going to happen to this child? I said, I want to take the child to a shelter. So the police now said, we have to come back the next okay. morning. That the DPO wasn't around and they wouldn't want to just release. OK, so we said we'll be there next morning. But meanwhile, they locked the mother up. Okay. And then the next morning, we went back there with the, somebody from the child protection unit, the welfare officer. So we got there and the child was um, taken away and taken to a home somewhere in Magodo, a government facility. facility. So that's where the child is. I think uh, that was on Monday. So on Tuesday, the woman then charged him to court. So right now, she don't go prison until she can perfect her bill. Mm. All right now, so this, we know this kind of situation, they happen. And in this, this is a very peculiar one because this one, Nadi Mama, and they beat the Pekin. The question why they ask Nasi, waiting, waiting we think say they happen to these adults where they beat children to the level where their body they bleed, despite whatever crime where they don't commit. Why do we see a lot of adults? No, it's a small picking this one be. Now correction, we don't say the picking if you don't know, say whether that's bad or even if the picking no, why do we still have adults who beat children to the level where they bleed for body? Well, a lot of them then say then they do a matter of frustration. So they carry the frustration, frustration for themselves, put on top of that picking. Put on top of the picking. The woman say, she they wake, come out for house for five, five o'clock. They go sell a mala somewhere inside market. Mushi, I think, inside Mushi or Agege, I can't remember which one she said. And she sells a mala there. She comes back home in the evening, late at night, at times 10, 11. So, I mean, the money that she makes, one child will now come and steal it. So I'm like, now you born this weekend, no be you born up. Now another person born up. So I, the and she said that she born the No, no, she born up now. But the man way she born up for done, that the man no take the pregnancy. So from 
beginning, I only they take care of the picking. That's it. It's the transfer of aggression. So it can't be like say the picking, they remind them of the no, papa. The, exactly. Where no the thing where the papa do, and the picking, they, and they, they suffer, for suffer for him. I, I, I tell them, say, this picking, how in they take chop every day. Say, in the morning, she go give him 15 naira. In the afternoon, 15 naira. So I say, this child will steal. He goes steal, oh. Morning, how much food will be 15 naira for a 12 year old? The Peking goes still now. So, Peking way, you no need, make you no burn up. That's it. You no, cannot we get, afford we, to take care of the of child. Them. Don't. Um, I mean, but a lot of times when they see, say, now na, the opposite, they always happen. We see, say, a lot of, of these people, we no fit to afford to f cater for themselves properly. We see, say, that they get plenty of children. Yes. Even though uh, we know, say, uh, Society for Family Health try to encourage people on family planning. Yes. But quite unfortunately, it still happen. Now, we also get situations or scenarios where um, housekeepers or house help or nanny or house gay or house boy, adults, people for that house, they still they abuse that. Um, housekeeper. I remember if, a, a video where I personally see video on top of social media where the woman bring the nanny from Motokara and go up slam and down. It didn't happen in Lagos State mm. from the confirmed information, it happened for Lagos State. But we they see sometimes where some of these children where they bring them from, whatever state that they bring them from, we just say then, then they abuse. It could be emotional, it could be um, um, sexual abuse, it could be physical abuse, it could be verbal abuse. Now, in situation when a house girl and where she feel, even know where she they come from. She just, because if she come from village, she no go no road. She feel no Sabi speak English. She feel be saying only in dialect in Sabi. How will they take handle that kind of case? Well, once we, there is a report, some person don't come. Like, I think it was early in January this year. One girl came. She's, I think she said she was 20, 21 or so. She's a lady, she's no longer a girl. And that her madam's son was beating her. So immediately we sent people to go in to go and investigate. Even the madam called because the madam had traveled. She called from the when UK she that there. she heard what has happened. That we should please, if we can keep the girl with us till she returns. And I'm like, no, she's older than what we have as facilities. So except you have a relation that can take her in. So she said that can her daughter, can she stay with her daughter? Her daughter too was also cool. married and had her own home. I said, yes, she can stay with your daughter till you return. And we actually invited the man, hmm. the boy that was beating, beating her. her. And this is a 21-year-old girl, yes, he lady. Beat her. He beat her black and blue. He beat her. He, he's not as if he, I mean, he said he asked that he came back from work, he was tired, and he asked her to make a meal. And the next thing is, she just made spaghetti and gave him that. She didn't ask him what he had in it. So I'm like, you know something? Is your mother's maid. You are 25 or thereabout. You take away where you go, take talk to person. Say, this is what I want to help me make it. Not that you start shouting and screaming and then beating her up to the extent of beating her up. So we now said, look, this is like... Uh, a situation where you are taking advantage of her. So we had to even ask the girl, did he make sexual advances? Was it something? She said no. It was just this beating and that she couldn't take it again. She even said she wanted to go back to her village that she's from somewhere in Benue and once Madame comes, she wants to go back. In this case, uh, she even, I mean, she's, she's quite exposed and educated enough mm -hmm. to walk yeah, to she your walked office, into our office, to walk to into your office to report. A lot, of, a lot of younger ones, she's even in her 20s, mm -hmm. a lot of younger ones, some would they hear say that they pick um, Nani as young as 9 year old picking. Yes, sir. 11 year old picking. Yes, we, yeah, we're still 12 young. year old picking, younger than 17, 18 years of age. They pick them, put them for house. A lot of times, these people don't even know anywhere because now the first time that they come to that city. And they don't have any contact or any family member for mm. that situation they feel wrong go. They don't know who they feel report. So in that kind of situation, how, what, which advice you go feel to give people like that? Where they for that kind of scenario. Or maybe neighbor, they watch us now. And they get their own neighbor. Where they know so that neighbor, it they maltreat picking. If it lock picking up from morning to night when they come back, you know, go, be, go make sure say that picking day inside house. On that lock and key. I don't even hear scenario where they keep picking for inside freezer. <laughs> As punishment. For children. For children. So in situations like this, how you they take I think it was on Tuesday, we got a report. There is this lady, she lives in Ikoi. 
she said she went to somewhere around law school to fix her car. And she saw this two-year-old that was by the water, by the lagoon there. And she saw a two-year-old baby. And she got interested that, look, why, why is the, what is this child doing around here? And that, obviously, the child was couching around, and it was obvious the child wanted to put something in his wow. mouth. So she went into her car. Now, she had donuts. She brought it out, and she gave the child. And the child ate it like a child that had never eaten before. So yesterday, we went out to go and try and rescue that child. Because apparently, the parents live somewhere far away. They say they live in Ogudu and that there's no way they can actually have enough time for the child. So they leave home 4.30, they take the child and drop the child for the lady's sister who works, who, who runs like a small buka somewhere. And that's it. That's where the child stays till they close whatever time they close, 8, 9, and they pick the child again. So luckily this woman, this kind-spirited woman, said to herself, okay, mother of this child, let's go. So she took the mother, took her to a school in GRE, paid school fees for the crutch and all that, that they should keep the child. She brings the child in the morning and then she picks the child. Madam, stop this work you're doing and take care of this child. You know she didn't. This woman paid the fees and she didn't let the child go to the school. So yes, the mama no agree. Make the picking go to school where another person, person don't pay, pay money for. Fees for. You know, let them go. So yesterday I was there with another colleague of mine, and we sat the woman down. Look, what's going on? We have a meeting today with them at 12 noon because that child must go to school. Really, it's a crime in Lagos if you do not send your child to school. There is no child that should be outside of school. Mm. What scenario? Take your child to a public school. There is always a time they would take that child in. Wow, well, this talking one about school, is, yes. yes. Okay. Talking about schools and children, we suppose they for school. Now, mm. a lot of times when they see children, especially for Lagos State, during school hours, we see them begging. Mm. Quite um, based on alleged information, when they hear some of them now from the Almajari or maybe from the northern are. and from the northern side, we Most see them. them we see some of them even hawking. Um, whatever food item or drinks during mm -hmm. traffic, mm. during school hours. What in your office they try to do for those children waiting on top of the streets of Lagos at time when they're supposed to be for school? The Ministry of Youth and Social Development are squarely in charge of that. They actually go out raiding. And when they pick those children, they place them in shelters. So directly, it's the Child Protection Unit that goes out to do that. And once the children are picked, they put them in shelters. From shelters, they go to school and come back. Mm. Their parents actually come running around. But look, if you do not have things on ground showing us that you are ready to take care of this child, Lagos State will take the child off you mm. and go and keep the child in a shelter. Yes, we have quite a demand, but we've put up write ups for us to have more shelters Beautiful. so that I can go around. And for people where they watch us now, because I know say so many people get questions, but um, because of time, you know, if you ask all the questions we didn't get, how they feel to reach you, maybe or reach out to your office to lay a complaint, to um, place an observation they don't see for their area, or anything where concerned children or even the rights of citizens of Lagos State, how they feel to reach you okay. to give you more of that information. My office is at, our office is at, uh, my office is there for uh, <laughs> Ministry of Justice, Block 2. First floor, room 104. It's the Directorate of Citizens' Rights. Any problem with they just come there. Now for Ikeja? For Alausa. For Alausa inside Alausa Secretariat. Aha, uh -huh, inside Alausa Secretariat. Yes. Very close. For inside Lagos State, Nadei Ide. Thank yes. you so much for coming. And yes. I want to come because um, two days ago when I go market area for my area for Bagada, some children, they come back from school and they pick and bring school sandal. Brand new school sandal. And they show you mama. And the mama, they ask her for your basi. Yeah. Ah, ah. Very How much will this one weigh then give you so? And the picking they tell the mama say, na free. Say then give her for in school free. Mm -hmm. And I was there because I did buy from the mama. The mama comes show me say, ah, egg by me. See what it happened. No, say she they ask at picking say, now for free, I be they give you or mm -hmm. now how much? Free. 
you know, and the picky say, no, mommy, then give me for free. Say, Abura, uncle, where is your younger one? Mm. Then give unto, he say, yes. yes. So I know say for Lagos State now, I mean, a lot has been done. Lot and they give done. school sandals free to children. To children yes. when inside school because we know say, sometimes yes, so. your papa and mama no figure afford them. Even though they don't wear, they, they wear, he don't use, use, use and use and use them. No he don't wear, no yes. use them again. And yes. right now, um, this one, a kudos to Lagos State Government and Thank to everybody when they do that one because I personally saw this mm. one, no be picture. Mm. I actually see them say then give this picking brand, yeah, fine one oh. And it makes We're sense. We're going around doing that. Very good. Thank you so much for coming to the My studio. Pleasure. And we look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you very much. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.